Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new release preview video for you. Today we have 2021 Prism Baseball. This just came out on Friday. We're a little bit late, a couple days behind here. Just got my cases of this, but we're going to check it out right now and see what we can find. We've got two boxes to open up, two hobby boxes, and there are three autographs per box, which would be pretty nice. So just a little bit about this set before we open it up. This is a tiered checklist. By that, it means there is uh, three tiers, tiers one, two, and three, and the uh, the cards in the later tiers, two and three, are much tougher to find than those in tiers one, or even one and two. But we're going to hopefully find some good stuff today, find some autographs, find lots of numbered cards. There's three autographs, three numbered prism cards per box, and there's also five reds, four blues, three silver prisms, so lots of different colors coming your way in this video. Also, by the way, we're doing a break of this product tomorrow. I'll uh, probably get started around uh, maybe like 8 p.m. Eastern time. It's actually a double break day tomorrow. We have a Chrome Blaster case, 2021 Topps Chrome. First look at that tomorrow. I'll get that started around lunchtime. Uh, and then later on, we'll be doing a box of this. And it's a random team break as well. So if you'd like to get in on a random team break, it's less than $40 a spot. You can on Patreon. Check us out there. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started here. Shane's up first. There's 12 packs per box. And I believe there's also 12 cards per pack, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a look at, yep, there it is. 12 cards per pack, 12 packs per box, three autographs total, 15 total prisms, three silver prisms. There's all the different um, combinations you can find, I guess. Aaron Judge is the cover boy of this box. Let's see what we can find for you, Shane. That's what the inside of the box looks like. 12 packs all stacked up there in a row. Lots and lots of prison baseball cards. All right, here we go. Good luck to you, Shane. Hope everybody's having a very nice Tuesday. We'll have a very busy break schedule coming up here over the next five days or so. I think I'm also going to readjust this. There we go. That's a little bit better. It's kind of facing down a little too much for my liking. Adonis Medina is our first card there. Tim Anderson, one of the heroes of that uh, Field of Dreams game. Jazz Chisholm rookie card. So those are your rookie card logos up in the upper left-hand corner. And here comes our first red. Remember, you get a bunch of these. Sixto Sanchez and Xander Bogarts. By the way, the Sixto is numbered out of 149. The Bogarts is not. And Trevor Bauer, who's basically has an indefinite leave of absence from the Dodgers. They try to figure out what the heck to do with him. But anyways, back to our break schedule. We've got a double break on Wednesday of the Chrome Blaster Boxes and this product by the team. On Thursday, we have a random team break of Allen and Ginter. On Friday, we'll have Chrome Jumbos, the brand new 2020 Chrome Hobby Jumbos. Five autographs per box. And here's our first hit. It's going to be a Shane McClanahan. Nice rookie auto right there. Shane McClanahan, Ken Griffey Jr., and Davey Garcia is the last one right there. Next pack up for Shane. Let's see what we've got. Jonathan Stever leads things off. Jonathan India, finally getting some Jonathan India cards. It's only taken forever. You'll see him in Topps Update finally. But Jonathan India, a um, very strong contender for the Rookie of the Year in the National League. Here's a Braylon Marquez. That one is a blue, and it's not numbered, unfortunately. And Nick Lodolo is the last one there, prospect with the Reds. We've got a whole other box to do after this one. Trevor Larnock. I think he actually just got sent down. But that, I think that might be the first Trevor Larnock rookie card that I've pulled from 2021. Nice to see some <coughs> newer rookies getting some cards that have appeared throughout the season. Here's a very nice looking Bo Bichette out of 199. Alex Verdugo. And we have a slugger card of Cody Bellinger. Bellinger having a really rough 2021. We'll see if he can get right for the playoffs. Playoffs are not all that far away. About a month and a half. Maybe actually even a little less than that now. There's a Joey Bart rookie card. Brooks Robinson with a prism card there. Mike Schmidt, like the older players, randomly inserted. There's Dylan Carlson having, having a decent year. Vlad Jr., who no longer leads in RBIs. Just got passed up by Raphael Devers the other day, but it's still close. There's a Kershaw of 199. He's actually on the 60-day disabled list. <laughs> I think we'll see him back in September sometime, but... 
Hopefully he gets right. It's kind of rare when you see Kershaw with an earned run average over three, and that's what he has right now. I think it's like 3.3-something. Dylan Carlson, rookie, once again. There's a Braxton Garrett. That's a blue, which is not numbered. And A.J. Pollock, kind of a name from the past there. A.J. Pollock, kind of a little bit forgotten about. He gets a slugger card in prison. These cards definitely do look nice. It's basically Panini's version of Chrome here. All these cards have that nice chromium finish. There's a nice Joe Adele rookie card. By the way, the backs of the cards, in case you're wondering, they tell you what tier it's on. Again, the, this one, I guess, is a tier one because it's not listed there, but the tier threes are going to be the hardest ones to find. Uh, so the Christian Yelich there, that's a tier three, and that was the only one in the entire pack. It looks like there's a Dane Dunning. That's also a tier three. That's out of 75, so that might have some extra value. Jesus Sanchez. And a championship stage, Clayton Kershaw. I'm probably not going to flip all the cards upside down. Like It just becomes a little bit tedious to do that. Kind of reminds me of Gold Label with the Class 1, Class 2, Class 3 deal. But it seems like the top cards of um, each pack are going to be your Tier 1s. And then you get your Tier 2s. That's the way this goes. Hey, Stolly Marte having a great um, past few weeks with the Oakland A's. And here's our next hit, former first round pick, Mickey Moniak. That's gonna be the autograph. So two rookie autos so far for Shane. There's Zach Plezak and Nick Madrigal, who by the way, I just realized the other day, Nick Madrigal got traded from the White Sox to the Cubs. He was part of the Craig Kimbrell trade. I didn't know that. I was on vacation during the trade deadline and missed a couple big time deals, I guess. Nick Madrigal's hurt for the year, but uh, he'll be back next year. That's a nice-looking Griffey. Early-looking Griffey Jr. card. Like that one a lot. Alex Kirloff, rookie. Larry Walker, blue. And there's going to be one more autograph from these last several packs that you see here. Three packs left. Then we have a whole other box to do. We'll do two of these boxes. They don't take all that long to rip since there's only 12 packs per box. Uh, Walker Bueller, who, by the way, might be a finalist or, or a favorite now for the Cy Young Award. Jacob DeGrom has been hurt. He's only thrown 92 innings. I don't know if that's going to be enough to get the job done to capture that award despite his 108 earned run average. Tristan McKenzie's out of 100. Jared Oliva, Red, and um, Clayton Kershaw. Bueller's going to have some competition with a couple Brewers aces. Corbin Burns looking really good. If you look at Corbin Burns' stats, he's, he's just uh, he might have the best stats out of Bueller, Burns, or um, who's the other guy? Brandon Woodruff is the other guy I'm thinking of, his teammate up there in Milwaukee. Will Craig, rookie card. Here comes our final hit. It's Nate Pearson. So all three are going to be rookie autos. Pearson um, came with some hype a couple years ago. Now if he can just stay healthy. Who knows? Maybe the future closer in Toronto as Toronto fights for their playoff lives. That's a really nice... Um, race in the AL East. And look at this, guys. Finally, Yermin Mercedes. Rookie card. Yermin Mercedes is, man, he's been in the news just for all the wrong reasons. He started out so good this season. Definitely the best player in baseball for the first month or so. He was hitting like 450 um, smashing homers, and then he got called out by Tony La Russa for swinging at a 3-0 pitch off of a position player. Hit a home run. And, um, man, ever since that happened, he got called out and embarrassed. He has not been the same. <laughs> he hit like 130 over the next month or two, got sent down to trip away. Then he retired from baseball. He actually quit baseball only to come back about a day or two later. And a lot of people were waiting for your mean Mercedes rookie cards. And there we go. We've got one in this. So another new rookie to add to the rookie lineup. Very nice stuff right there. Next up, we'll do Jack's Packs. This is our final box of this preview video, giving you a look at Panini Prism. Good luck to you, Jack. Three more autographs coming your way. And if you like or hate Prism, either way, you got to admit, this is a pretty nice-looking release for sure. There's another Jonathan India, so two Jonathan Indias today. Jesus Lusardo, of course, now. He's on the Miami Marlins, traded for Stalling Marte. There's Zach McKinstry. A lot of people like McKinstry a lot. Nice Dylan Carlson Prism Refractor. That's a nice one. And we've got a rookie class card there of Keybert Ruiz as our final card. Next pack up, pack number two. Conforto's on the back. Jeff Bagel's on the top. There's Trevor Larnock once again. Let's see what we can find in this one. 
We've got a Miggy, Miguel Cabrera, who I believe he's still one home run away from 500 career home runs, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, Zach Campbell's probably wherever the Tigers are, hunting that one down. He'll get there. Miggy will get there. Surefire, first ballot Hall of Famer. And uh, what a comeback for Miggy. He was hitting like 105 after one month, and now he's got that average the whole way up, I think, in the 250s. So he's really turned it around. And uh, props to him, a true professional, to keep grinding it out. Spencer Howard, that's a nice red refractor out of 99. Jacob deGrom, red not numbered. And Teoscar Hernandez is the last one right there. Two autographs left to find for Jack. Let's see what we can find for you right here. There's Tristan McKenzie leading things off. Jim Tomey's in here as well. Tyler Stevenson in here. Comes our next one. <laughs> Dalton Jeffries. Why do I always eat right before? I... Sorry about that. Got a little bit of uh, crumbs in my throat or something. There's a Dalton Jeffries autograph. That's autograph number two. One more to go. Dylan Carlson's slugger card is the last one there. A whole lot of packs left too. Like nine packs left or so. Eight, nine packs. So let's see what we can find. Andre Scrub rookie card. Braylon Marquez. There's McKinstry once more. We've seen some of these already. There's a nice blue Jonathan India. That's a very nice one right there. And Oscar Colas emergent card. First time seeing an Oscar Colas card, at least for me, on the channel. Nice looking one right there. Next up, we've got Luis Campusano. Looks like we may have a green coming our way. There's Jared Kelnick, by the way. Another nice rookie to add to the list. A lot of people waiting on Kelnick's rookie card. You're going to have to wait for Topps update to get his Topps one. But you can get his first one right there. Jared Kelnick, he also has a super, super short print, which we pulled in Gypsy Queen, which is uh, a very valuable card. Anthony Santander out of 125. And Marcel Ozuna, stargazing card, is the last one in that pack. We've got six packs left to go for Jack. Got Ryan Jeffers leading things off in this one. Keybert Ruiz, Garrett Crochet rookie card. Hey, Willie Stargell, Pops. That's a nice-looking card right there. like that one being from Pittsburgh. Luis Robert, great card right there. That is a Tier 3, so that's a tough find. So that'll be a little extra valuable. Jake Cronenworth, nice. Is that orange or gold? It's out of 100. And Tristan McKenzie, almost had a no-hitter the other day. Nice one. Five packs left to go. There's one autograph somewhere in here. At least there better be. Rod Carew, once again, Luis Garcia. We got a blue coming up. It's going to be a Tyler Blankenhorn blue. <clears throat> Four packs left to go. Hopefully everyone's had a very nice Tuesday. Tomorrow we'll have a, uh, a new release preview video for Topps Chrome, at least the retail version. We'll be opening up some blasters. We'll take a look at that. Then we'll do a large-scale break, opening over 100 blasters. This is a very nice Mike Trout card right here. Some sort of insert. It's out of 149. I think it might be a stargazing card. I can't really tell, but it's numbered SG1. It's a cool card. Bobby Dalbeck is the last one right there. Dalbeck has not had a good season despite having a great spring training. O'Neill Cruz emerging card coming up on the back. I like that one a lot. O'Neill Cruz will probably be in the big leagues before too long. Tons and tons of power. There's that card once again. And Shane McClanahan is going to be our final hit. So, so far, it's two McClanahans and two boxes. I'm interested to see how the break plays out when, once we open a whole bunch of these boxes to see how many Shane McClanahans we pull. He might be the lead guy. He's got two right now on the autograph ledger. There's Jermaine Mercedes once again. We'll finish this video up here with... A Jesus Lusardo Blue, a nice-looking Luis Robert stargazing card, and final pack. Again, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope that you'll please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, please hit the thumbs-up button. It helps the video out a little bit. And I hope to see you in our many breaks tomorrow. We'll be breaking for hours in the afternoon and evening. Dylan Carlson, rookie card, Fearless. A very nice Fearless Parallel blue out of 199, Raphael Devers. And the final card is an Anthony Rizzo there, of course, now of the Yankees. So that'll do it for you, Jack. Thank you very much. Thanks to everybody watching. Again, if you'd like to participate in any of our breaks, which I think it's like five consecutive nights or days, we'll be live breaking cards. Check us out on Patreon. It's $3 per month. With that being said, I hope you have a great rest of your Tuesday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.